Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in yet again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, in fact, because today is a day of thanks for many people here in the United States of America and other parts of the world too. Today is the day of thanks, otherwise known as Thanksgiving. Many people like to celebrate today uh, of a, uh, the story goes a long time ago, there was a, a people who came here from Europe and they were welcomed by some natives and they shared a feast and they all, uh, lived long, fruitful, healthy, happy lives, uh, the end. Or at least that was a, a version of the story a lot of us got in elementary school and uh, in our schooling and our upbringing and all that. Now, I am very grateful for many things, and I like to celebrate Thanksgiving personally in my own way. Um, I like to celebrate Thanksgiving not just with giving gratitude, but also with, with uh, reflecting on, on all of the things that have happened uh, on the day, in the past, and, and and also just kind of like, I'm grateful on a daily basis. If you're new to my channel, um, you are probably wondering why you're watching this guy inside of this room with the drop cork ceiling. If you're not new to this channel, you know that I'm grateful and I, I thank the audience right at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. I practice gratitude on a daily basis because I'm lucky to be here. I'm lucky to be alive. And that's really important to recognize that. And it's really good that we have a day of gratitude and a day of thanks, a day of thanksgiving, celebrating um, the arrival of the, the colonial uh, people from Europe, I suppose. Um, but uh, I'm really thankful for the internet because no other time in human history have we had the opportunity to self-publish ourselves, such as now. And I've made a promise to myself and all my viewers out there that I would post every single day for the year of 2021. And uh, being this uh, Thanksgiving, the national holiday, the fourth Thursday of the month of November, I thought that it was important to talk a little bit about gratitude, how I feel um, Thanksgiving is uh, kind of misunderstood and misrepresented by a lot of people, and talk a little bit about what I learned about the history uh, these past couple weeks while looking up information on Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, it goes back to uh, some people talk about the Mayflower arriving at Plymouth Rock. And uh, that was in the 1600s, I believe, is when they were talking about that. Yeah, sometime in the 1600s. And there's some claims stating that the, there was a gathering there that had about 90 uh, um, Wampanoag. I think Wampanoag is how you pronounce it. Wampanoag uh, natives that helped the, uh, the pilgrims there after the first year. The first year they came there. Uh, the pilgrims, who didn't even call themselves pilgrims, by the way. That term didn't come around until around the 1800s. And they came there, and they sat around for about a year, and they were slowly dying because they couldn't uh, understand how to survive in this new environment. Um, and it wasn't until the second year when the Wampanoag came over and assisted the natives, the nat uh, I'm sorry, assisted the, uh, the, uh, the Europeans that came over um, on the Mayflower from the year before. And uh, they helped him out with uh, bringing like four or five deer um, and a number of other fowl as well as some squash and succotash. Succotash is a mixture of corn and lima beans, apparently, and that goes all the way back to uh, that time period. So uh, the Wampanoag helped out the, uh, the, the pilgrims, as we call them nowadays, but back then they just referred to themselves as, uh, as uh, secular uh, Christians, I suppose, of a certain of a certain, um, of a certain, you know, persuasion. And there was about 40 or so of them, about 90 so of the Wampanoag that participated in this feast. And a lot of people celebrate that as the first day of thanks or the first Thanksgiving. However, there's confliction too, because even in Florida around the same time, give or take some years, because as we all know, sometimes history is uh, misrepresented or painted to be differently sometimes hundreds of years later, as we'll figure out as I go forward with this story. So uh, in Florida, there was another day of thanks, which also claims to be the first day of Thanksgiving, and uh, a very similar story. Um, however, the details on that are kind of hazy. I don't know enough about that or enough about uh, most of the other engagements that happened because, as we know, that happened a long time ago. And a lot of history has been erased or changed or misrepresented over the years. But I'm very grateful once again for the internet because the internet gives us all a voice. It gives voice back to, to those who were robbed of their voice. Because um, one thing that did happen to the Wampanoag after that feast was there was a, a slaughter. A lot of people got killed. 
a lot of the natives got killed, the Wampanoag got killed. Um, reasons being completely unclear for the moment, but yeah, it was vicious. They had this feast, and it didn't quite happen the way they were. They told us in the history books, and and unfortunately, it was a very dark day in history. Uh, and uh, natives to this day uh, celebrate something quite different than Thanksgiving. And uh, thanks to the internet, a lot of this information is coming to light nowadays, and it, it's verifiable. Um, I know that some people don't like hearing um, something different than what they're taught. They think that history is being changed to something other than it is. However, uh, you can find this verifiable information not only with uh, the, uh, the oral traditions of the Wampanoag um, um, families and the tribes people, but also from the written accounts of the colonizers themselves in their own journals, talking about um, killing the savages in the name of the Holy Trinity and so on and so forth. So it's verifiable. These things did happen. And I know that there's still subject to debate on what actually went down that long ago. So... Be that as it may, history um, can be very vicious and very cruel. It can be uh, hurtful and it, it just, just downright saddening. But one thing we can do with history is remember it and do better. And I think it's very important not to forget these details, especially on this day where we're supposed to all express thanks and gratitude. And when you bring up something like this around this holiday, I've had relatives and I've had close friends get real upset just for bringing up the concept of Native Americans and what may or may not have happened to them in history. So it's quite sad that people can be so dismissive of the Native population when it comes to what actually happened. And, uh, and I know that there's a lot of flack and even like pushback about what happened and what didn't happen with all that. But be that as it may, history is history and it's behind us now, but we can all do better moving forward. And I hope we can do better moving forward. It wasn't until 1863 when Abraham Lincoln officially established Thanksgiving. And that was hundreds of years after the 1600s when these, these Thanksgivings, these apparent first um, feasts, happened on the east coast of the uh, United States of America, or we call United States of America now. It was just the Americas before. And it's interesting that that was established hundreds of years after the fact in remembrance of something that supposedly happened hundreds of years earlier. And it was actually um, established after a couple of victories that the North had over the South. Quite curious that they decided to have these feasts. Throughout history, we've always had feasts when it comes to the day of harvests and all of that. So I guess Abraham Lincoln thought it was important to make a national day of Thanksgiving and a number of different stories have come and gone throughout the years as to what the first Thanksgiving was, as I've alluded to earlier, and so on and so forth. It's just strange. It's a strange thing. It's a, it's a beautiful holiday in the sense that um, we, we cook food as part of the American tradition. If you take away all the history, which we shouldn't do, um, the fact that we can all just cook some food and get together and enjoy each other's company on paper is a beautiful thing. But it's interesting how some people spend their Thanksgiving. I see a lot of people, they, they make their the dinner and everything like that. There's a lot of pressure on the ladies of the family to cook all this food, particularly ladies. I don't want to be sexist here. You know, there's, there's men that cook. For instance, I did today. Actually, for the past three years, including this one, I've worked as an in-home caregiver. And I helped make the turkey and the stuffing and, and the gravy and, and uh, prepare the food and clean up afterwards because that's my job. And, and I'm fortunate because... I'm lucky to only work jobs that I enjoy doing. I'm grateful for that. I'm very genuinely thankful. You can see the gratitude in my eyes. I'm very lucky to work the jobs that I work and do the things that I do and have the opportunity to self-publish and talk into the mass void that is the internet to anyone out there who's willing to listen. And in fact, I'm working a 16-hour shift right now, and I'm currently on break in the basement. Now, I'm on a treadmill. I'm going to walk on this treadmill when I'm done doing this video, but... I couldn't do the video while I'm walking on a treadmill like I used to do earlier this year because I only have my camera with me on my phone, my phone camera. And that's, that's a reason why I'm not doing that. But the point is, is that it's exciting to be able to participate in the side of the Thanksgiving tradition as I was growing up watching all of uh, my mom and my grandma and uh, the ladies of the family essentially do most of the actual legwork and doing all that work while all the guys watched football uh, feeling pretty upset about the results of the game. And and nowadays it's gotten even weirder too because now we have our cell phones and everyone's on their internet phones and they're, they're watching their cell phones, watching the screen, communicating with other people. It's like, what's 
you know, it's, it's supposed to be a day of, of gratitude and thanks. And a lot of the same people that participate in those sorts of traditions tend to be quite dismissive of the history of the native tribes and uh, what's happened throughout history to the native peoples here in the United States. And it's funny, you can sit there and say, um, and bring up the past of what's happened to the natives uh, throughout history and how most all of their contracts have been completely, completely just disregarded and dishonored by the United States government. And it just, the cycle continues, it keeps happening. And, and how they get no respect or credibility, um, they don't have a voice, they don't have a means to talk. And because when they do, people get dismissive of it. Uh, part of our culture is to be dismissive of that. They got their casinos and their free college. That's not how it actually goes for them. Sure, their tribes might have casinos on some of their land, and, and you know how, it's so difficult for them to prove that they are Native Americans. They don't, a lot of them don't get their free college ride, or even their, their, their privileges, that so-called privileges that coming with, with, comes with being a Native, um, because many of them can't actually prove that they're Native because so much records have been destroyed throughout history. So much history has been erased. And bloodlines, tribes, whole tribes of people are gone because, because of, of, of the history of, of people coming over. And I know that it, it's, it's important to remember history, not forget it, and do better. And I'm not saying that people out there who aren't Native should feel guilt about celebrating today. But I think it's important to understand what happened. And you can, you can do both. You can celebrate and be grateful and celebrate time with your family and still do the traditions that we know uh, of, of Thanksgiving to this day without being dismissive of the Native story, without being open-minded and listening to that story, and without sharing those stories. And, and you know what I mean? Like, like really understanding and, and listening to the disenfranchised, the people who historically have uh, been repeatedly over and over and over dismissed, disrespected, and, um, and, and otherwise just forgotten. So I guess that's what I'm grateful for today is, is, is knowing that uh, we have the ability to self-publish. We have the ability to research things. We have the ability to connect with other people globally. And I think it's important that we use that better. Um, we use it better than arguing with strangers on the internet about whether or not something that happened hundreds of years ago did happen and so on and so forth. But to have an open mind and, 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 and just gr grateful to be alive, to have the opportunity to even be alive. Because so many other people don't even have that opportunity and lost that opportunity historically. So, yeah. I guess that's it for today, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and um, the, the day of mourning for natives is also today, too. It's important to recognize that. And, um, and remember, remember what happened. And to remember to never give up to do your best, to stay true to you, and to be amazing. Yeah, I, I guess I wish I had uh, more positive things to say, but uh, that's, that's, that's where we're at today with this video. So um, until next time, my friends, thanks very much for tuning in. I appreciate it very, very, very much. You have no idea. I am genuinely grateful for this opportunity to be posting here on YouTube daily and for everything that's come from it so far. Um, so until next time, my friends, be well. Love you. Bye.